On these sleepless nights, full of thoughts, despite the facade I keep up, rightfully ones who don't know what it's like to battle in this fight of a life that I just might wish I wasn't living. I'm cringing at my own self-inflicted binging. I'm mincing words and spinning lies to distract from the cracks that right, run right down the front of me. You're all I see, like a siren on a rock in the middle of the sea, out of place like me. Wailing for my attention, it's deafening but not meant to be. I can hear patterns in the sounds, I can see the lack on your frown. Your lips glisten in hopes to make me listen, but in my chest there's something missing, and I can't tell if my heart was stabbed or just broken. After each breath I hope that I wouldn't have awoken. From this nightmare, the one that will leave me scarred till I die here, and leave your sick twisted knife there. So there are too many things I could say to you. I'd rather place my faith in God and pray for a sliver of truth. So to all these sleepless nights alone, I hope you grasp why so often I sleep last nights at home. I I've had to let go of different types of, you know, love, loved ones. And I think it's really important to think about what those people would want for you. And I definitely don't think it's to be hung up on the idea of them. I've only really fell in love like twice, I guess. Sounds weird. Even if I didn't realize it then, I know now that those two would definitely like love love, you know? Not like infatuations, you know, people find a crush and that's just like animalistic, you know? But these were making somebody else happy for your happiness. It seemed larger than just the idea of being with someone. But I've had to let go so much more than just twice. You know those fleeting relationships and friendships in your life? The ones where it didn't just work out for whatever reason. Not everyone is going to be the one. You just have some that'll just maybe switch up or ghost you. You know, hopefully you don't get attached by then. Those are relatively like easy, at least to me. But maybe it's because I'm trying to avoid letting go of something greater that I've been holding on to. You know, the one that no matter how much you want to let go, or how much you think you should let go, there's something holding you back from doing that too. And I can't say that I'm strong in that sense. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, just move on, because of all these reasons that they can't give, because moving on is one of the hardest things you can do in a relationship. But that's always the best move, right? Yeah. Bullshit. But I, uh, I'm not a saint. Firstly, let me clear that up, because I wouldn't have to let go of anything if I didn't push it away in the first place. Just the idea that you think you have to let go means that whatever you're doing right now is probably something you shouldn't be doing. If you refuse to let go, you're just trapping yourself, you know, for no reason. You know, maybe I'm um, self-destructive. You know, you have to live with your regrets. I wish I didn't. Then go is so hard, Judd. <laughs>